In this video, I'll be introducing the formula for finding surface area of graphs of functions and just going through a few examples to get the hang of it and later on in class I'll explain where the formula comes from. So here's the idea. We're finding surface areas of the graph of a function. So like always, we have some domain below on the xy plane and some function above. So just this portion would be the portion I'm considering. And I'm going to be talking about how we find the surface area of, of this surface up here. So if this is given as the graph of a function f of x, y, the formula for the surface area over this region, let me call it r, is as follows. So let me say it's the surface area of the graph of f over r is given by this formula. This long thing here, I have the double integral over the region r of the square root of 1 plus the partial with respect to x squared plus the partial with respect to y squared. And this should somehow resemble the formula for finding arc length, if you remember that from one variable. Let me just write that to the side. The formula for arc length of the graph of a function was this, was this formula. So they obviously look similar, and it's no coincidence. So there's the formula, and let me just go through two, two quick examples. So this first example will be pretty simple, and it'll be something that we already know how to find the surface area of. So let's let me take for the region just to be the square in the xy plane and I'll take the function to be something pretty simple 1 plus 2x plus 3y um what this looks like Well, the graph of f is a plane, but we're just considering it over this rectangle here. Uh, let's try to get a hang of what this looks like. At 0, 0, the function is equal to 1. And then on the xz plane, so that's considering y equal to 0, this term is in here. And we sort of have a slope of 2. So it kind of goes like this. And in the other direction, you have a line like this. And the shape you have will be some, some parallelogram floating in space. And we already know how to find parallelogram areas of parallelograms, but uh, we can also do it using this double integral. So let's just apply the formula. It says we take... So I'll abbreviate surface area SA, and I'll do a double integral over this region of the square root of 1 plus, well, I have to do the partial of f with respect to x squared. So the partial with respect to x of this function is just 2, and the partial with respect to y is 3. So in the formula I have 1 plus 
partial with respect to x squared plus the partial with respect to y squared dA. And the region is just this simple square. I should mention this quantity is just 4 plus 9 plus 1. So I have the square root of 14 altogether. So in the end, I could do this as an iterated integral. I'll go 0 to 1, 0 to 1, the square root of 14, dx, dy. And this just comes out to be the square root of 14. Here's a harder example. Uh, and this, let's say we want to find the surface area of the portion of the unit sphere above z equals four-fifths, say. So this is going to be some kind of polar ice cap. So if I'm drawing the unit sphere, it'll look like this. And I'll put this as one and four-fifths might be there. So here's this hemisphere. And I want to find the surface area of, of just the top part. So first I need to express this surface as the graph of a function. Uh, well, the equation of the unit sphere is this x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 1. So we can write an equation for the top half as z equals square root of 1 minus x squared minus y squared. So this is the function we have in mind. And uh, we want to find the surface area of the graph of this function over this region here. So it's sort of the shadow of the cap down below. And what is that? What is the region we're integrating over? Well, that's uh, we have to figure out the radius of this circle here. So that's when z is equal to 4 fifths. And so we can just figure out what, what circle that is by seeing what circle has this equation. So you solve this, you can square both sides, you get 16 fifths, 16 20 fifths, I mean, equals 1 minus x squared minus y squared. And you go through it, and you'll get 9 20 fifths equals x squared plus y squared. And so this describes a circle of radius 3 fifths. So now the problem is we're finding the surface area of the graph of this function over the circle of radius 3 fifths. So I don't have time to go through the whole computation, but the thing you'll be computing is, well, let me call d the disk of radius 3 fifths, and here our function is, is this, and then the thing we're computing is going to be uh, the square root of 1 plus df dx squared plus df dy squared da. And if you want to try this yourself, uh, you should come out with 2 pi over 5 in the end. And I'll stop there.